Today's video is going to be tips for traveling with your pets. We are at Indora. We've been full-time RVers since 2009 and travel with our two fur babies, Missy and Mason. As we travel around this great country, we've had to get creative with various ways to earn income. So not only we're going to show you our destinations, great places to see and do things, but we're able to show you how we make income so maybe you can too. Everything you need to know about camping with pets and taking your pets on trips in the great outdoors. You can take the mind off of the stress of everyday life by going on a hike, relaxing by a campfire. The best part is that you can do it all with your fur babies at your side. Camping is one of the most pet friendly vacations you can take. Whether you're camping in a tent, RV, or cabin, your dog will fit right in. Pets and RVs seem to go together for many people. A primary reason for buying and traveling in an RV is so you can take your pets with you. In fact, according to a survey, 68% of RV owners bring a pet with them. Most are dog people with 92% and 14 bring cats. But as we know, our friends travel with ferrets as well. Get to know your pet beforehand. Before you plan a camping trip with your pet, be sure you understand their personality and temperament. Are they calm and friendly around other pets? Can they handle all the sights, sounds, and smells of the new environment? If not, you may need more time before embarking on their first wilderness adventure. It's also important to consider the physical strength and stamina. The family pug probably can't handle a 10 mile hike, but they love short walking trails and hanging out by the campfire. Find the right location. Call ahead and check online to make sure your destination is pet friendly. While you're at it, review the pet policy so that you know what to expect when you arrive. Stick together. Keep your pet with you at all times. It's safer for you and them. You never know what animals might wander into your campsite. Consider pet insurance. While it's unlikely that your dog will become injured during your camping trip, life is unpredictable. Pet insurance provides valuable peace of mind so you can worry less and relax more. Local emergency information. When you arrive at a campground, one of the first things we do is look up a number of a local vet and or pet hospital in an area just in case of an emergency. This is easily accomplished with a veterinarian near me search in the Google. Keep the info handy in case there is an emergency. Vet checks. Have your vet check your pet before you hit the road so all vaccines are up to date and you can inquire about any other health precautions that you should take while you're on the road. Take your pet's favorite bed with you. If you travel and you're not living in your RV, you need to take something familiar with the smells of home. Friends of ours, pets, know when their beds are carried out of the house and into the RV, some kind of adventure is around the corner. Having their own beds in the RV makes them more comfortable. When you're traveling to your destination, stop frequently so your pets can stretch and relieve themselves. We try to stop about every two hours at a minimum. Day excursions. An RV can be an extremely hot or cold inside. Always make sure there's some type of ventilation, heat, or air. Always have fresh water available for your pet. If your travel plans include day trips or extended travel away from the campsite, please keep this in mind. If you're only going to be away a short time, we turn on some type of calming music or we put the TV channel on that won't make loud sounds. This helps distract them from outside activity. If you plan to be away from the RV and your pet for an extended period of time, it is advisable to look into a nearby pet boarding facility or doggy daycare. Some campgrounds do offer kennels and boarding services for pets. Another concern is you never know when the power will gonna go out. So there are some great pet monitoring systems out there you can purchase 
head over to itsagoodliferv.com and you can see what we suggest. Something we are currently looking into is video monitoring. As you know, we do have cameras on the front and the rear of our RV, but we have nothing inside. So we are looking into adding a indoor camera so we can see what the rugrats are up to, or if it's for some reason the electricity goes out, we get a notification so we can get back and take care of them. Just if you're going to take your pets with you in a, either in a campground or on a day trip or on a hike, just be considerate of others. Keep your leash short so they don't lunge at people or they want to jump on someone to give them slobbery kisses and make sure you always pick up behind them. Another thing is when you're in the campground, as we said, if they're tied out, make sure that they are safe within a distance, but also make sure you stay outside with them if they are tethered outdoors, just in case another pet would walk by and there would be a scuffle. Something we see often is getting creative with your pet containment. Some pet owners get creative with pet containment systems so their pets can enjoy and share time outside with them. It is important they have shade and clean water. Make sure you're always in attendance when your pets are outside with you. Spending quality time with your pet will benefit you and your pet. Together you can strengthen your mind, body, and relationship. Plus they'll make the adventure even more fun. Together you'll make memories that last a lifetime. We hope in today's video you've learned how to plan and enjoy your camping trip with your pets. We hope you now can explore new destinations with your pet and know how to make it happen. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so every time we put out a new video, you will get notification. Thanks again for watching today's video. You can have your big old house, pretty manicured lawn, beautiful bow window. I'ma take my metal box all decked out and go wherever the wind blows you can do what you will i'ma do what i please there's more than one road to happy i'm gonna get there in my rv please.